next year I took one day a week to talk to my team and to create a vision. And we won the NC2A championship that year. Uh, uh, understanding talent is a coach's most important skill. Talent identification is talent of the parts within each child. It's not selection. I wanted to make sure I was ready every day for them to create the perfect environment on that Monday afternoon or whatever day it was. That I think is, it's a lot of work outside the pool. It's important that the, uh, the vision be used in a positive way that you point out to people when they're meeting the vision. And so if you have a really heavy negative to positive balance in the type of communication you're providing, you tend to undermine your own mission because it becomes a bludgeon and people feel like they're getting beat up with it. You can't motivate anybody any higher than they can visualize. And, and their mind muscle connection, I've awakened for them what muscles they're actually using to, to perform the activity itself. And it seems to work really well on land and then convert it into the water. We actually use pulleys with our age group kids a couple times a week, more so from the fun aspect. And, and I mean, I think they're gaining something they don't think they're gaining, but they think of it as, as, as fun. Where your every training load should be designed or should be calculated at a level of individual, at a peak of individual ability. Not going over, but not going under as well. There are many opportunities for swimmers to generate more propulsion by making technique adjustments. And that's where I see the biggest performance gains coming from in the future. Mental practice uh, increases the speed with which people acquire physical skills assuming that those skills are correct to begin with. So the first thing about negative self-talk is you have to realize it's happening before you know you can change it. I didn't swim 5,000. I didn't win any medals. <laughs> now I'm getting the rewards. Coaches don't make athletes. Athletes make coaches. Listen, I made my program very simple so that they could see that they were succeeding or failing. And swimming Nobody in their right mind picks to do the sport. It picks you. Because who in their right mind would pick it? You're going to get in at one end of the pool, follow, follow the black line back and forth for two hours, and get out same place you got in.